Paris with Love in theaters February 5th. Jamie Varner, 25 years of age, 5'8", his weight 155 even pounds, his reach 72 inches. Ben Henderson, 26 years of age, 5'9", 154 and a half pounds, his reach 70 inches. Right now we go inside the cage, the voice of the WEC, Joe Martinez has the official introductions. And now, ladies and gentlemen from Arco Arena here in Sacramento, California. It is time for the main event of the evening. Five rounds scheduled for the WEC Lightweight Championship of the World. This bout is brought to you by the Dark Custom World of Harley Davidson in association with Muscle Farm, fuel for the athlete in you. And Bud Light, the difference is drinkability. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Executive Officer Dave Thornton. And now, fight fans, the you judges are ready, and the fighters are ready for the thousands in attendance here at Arco Arena, and the millions watching live on Versus. Sacramento, make some noise! Are you ready? Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a wrestler standing five feet, nine inches tall. Official weight, 154 and one half pounds. Professional record outstanding with 10 victories, just one defeat, fighting out of Glendale, Arizona. He is the WEC interim lightweight champion of the world, Ben Smooth Henderson. Next is opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. Official weight, 155 pounds. His professional record, 16 victories, two defeats, and two no contests. He fights out of Tempe, Arizona, the reigning WEC lightweight champion of the world, Jamie Varner. Referee in charge of the action, Her. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to have a clean fight. Touch it up. Let's make it official. Amp up with Amp Energy, the official energy drink of the WEC. So a belt is on the line in the lightweight division. Will it be Ben Henderson or that man, Jamie Varner? We're scheduled for five rounds. Over. Jamie Varner's telling me that he has seen a lot of footage on Ben Henderson. Knows exactly what to expect. You know, Varner comes from a very good camp. I think that, you know, he's doing an excellent job of studying Ben Henderson. And Jamie Varner pushing the pace early. But as far as knowing exactly what Ben's going to do at this point, it's hard to tell because Ben Henderson is still relatively, you know, young in his career. I know he's already yeah. won, the, won the interim title, but uh, he's going to constantly be improving at this point. You know, every fight he's going to get better. And much like the featherweight division, the lightweight division is loaded as well. Jamie Varner, of course, Ben Henderson, Donald Cerrone waiting in the wings for a shot at whoever gets this victory. That could be an entertaining fight. Really pushing for that knee bar attempt. Finally abandoned it due to the strikes coming from Jamie Varner. Stay relaxed. You think that uh, Varner even attempts going for a guillotine on this guy? Well, Ben Henderson has turned into the Houdini of the lightweight division after his fight with Donald Cerrone, getting out of so many submission attempts. Uh, still to this day, this is one of the, the first couple uh, guillotine attempts that uh, he got out of. I still have no idea how that happened. Jamie Varner feeling good talking to some of the folks cage side. I haven't seen that in a while. Well, maybe he's embracing the heel thing. <laughs> well, he is really cranking down on the neck of Ben Henderson. 
Anderson is in a bad place right now, but we've seen that before, and it's nothing. Yeah, at this point, sometimes I say, oh, oh, oh nice. Garner brings up a big knee, and it connects. Oh, I don't think I'm ever going to call any submissions even close on this yeah. guy. Varner pushing the pace here. Ben Henderson in the black trunks, Jamie Varner in the white. Both of these fighters coming out of Arizona. Is this Ben Henderson's version of the Ropa Dose? I think right now he's just stuck in a very good front headlock from uh, Jamie Varner. And, uh, Come on. He's pushed up against it's the cage. He can't really get a single. Work. Varner's Come hips on. are in excellent position. And uh, he's sunk in low every time he, uh, he goes for the shot. I mean, right now, it's, you know, Jamie Varner's in a very controlling position. If uh, Ben Henderson decides to stand up it's in work. this position, he really exposes his head right. to be in need. So right Stop. now, he just kind of has to, you know. Yeah. And Herb Dean decides to stand him up. And here's the thing about Ben. No matter how much damage you do to him, no matter how close that choke is, he never seems phased. Fixes his hair and comes forward. He may have the second best hair to Ryan Faber and Frank Mir. I don't think I can parry that again. <laughs> Trying to break the tension, Frank. <laughs> hey, I'm on the outside of the cage. I'm relaxed. <laughs> Jamie Varner continuing to come forward. Remember, he is a Golden Gloves level boxer. Definitely an advantage there, but Ben Henderson can snap things off like that. And we've got problems, and Jamie Varner. Walking to a neutral corner as if he was looking for a stop there. Now you can't ever expect the referee to protect you. Now we all know that in the back corner, and that's a mistake that he just made there. He can obviously back off. His eyes are hurt, but you keep your shoulders right. pointed at your opponent. You're ready to defend yourself. I think Last thing we all hear is protect yourself at all times. It's a phrase we've all heard numerous times. A situation where we call that the Chris Hordesky rule. Yeah, he backed off, and you know what? That's not dirty play whatsoever by Ben yeah. Henderson. It's like, hey, the referee hasn't told him to stop. They're inside the cage, and, the, and it's, the round is on. You keep fighting unless you're told otherwise. Under 30 seconds to go here in round number one. This one's scheduled for five as the lightweight belt is on the line. Jamie Varner, the reigning champion. Ben Henderson, the interim champion. Really, when guys are close hip to hip like this, there's any separation the cage. Uh, don't be surprised to see someone go for uh, some freaking flyer miles. Big knees coming up from Ben Henderson. And the final five seconds tick away. We will see a second round when we come back to Sacramento. Hold him in the guillotine, then knee him in the head, because so far, doesn't seem any way to choke this guy out. At the start of round number two, Jamie Varner in the white trunks, Ben Henderson in the black trunks. Normally, we'd see Jamie Varner coming for, forward more, Frank, firing off that loaded right that he can usually contact with, ask Rob McCullough and some of those other guys, but I think he respects Ben Henderson too much. Well, he respects to take that, obviously, yeah. Ben Henderson. Oh, big knee comes up. Ben Henderson can snap those kicks off. He does a great job of firing off those kicks to the level with the roundhouse off the backside which does keep your opponent from wanting to throw a right hand, you know? You throw a right hand, you really expose that rib cage even more so to that, that kick coming off the backside of a southpaw individual, and it could be even more devastating. I like how relaxed Ben Henderson is. Yeah. I think that really is very composed, and I like his mindset. I think, though, he just needs to be a little bit more getting after him. I think at this pace, anybody can fight for any distance, and I think that takes away from the that Ben Henderson has such great ability to, to fight a five-round fight. I think if he wants to push the pace and find out if the year off is, is hurt, uh, Jamie at all, he needs to push the pace a little bit more. Right now, Jamie's controlling the tempo he wants to fight, and right now, Ben Henderson seems to be almost just reacting to what uh, Jamie Varner's doing. Under three and a half to go here in round number two, and contact made there as Varner was coming forward with that combination. We're scheduled for five. 
Frank Fitness should not be an issue for either one of these fighters. No, I think both are in great shape. But as far as uh, certain people have natural tendencies, I think just the relaxation of Ben Henderson just helps him helps out his conditioning already that he already has a great foundation in, but he's a little bit more relaxed and his heart rate is going to be naturally lower than somebody else's. Jamie Varner, though, trains extremely hard. Trained down there at the Arizona Combat Club. Extremely fit individual. Those guys, they get to train against each other all the time. It's a great assortment of fighters that are world class there. I know that uh, Varner talks a lot about swimming with the, uh, you know, the Arizona. And so, you know, swimming is an extremely difficult you know thing to do right at the pace i think it gets you in great shape i think we see that in a lot of the shoulder flexibility and you I mean, just look at the back of jamie varner obviously he's doing some good conditioning jamie varner spending time at the arizona state university aquatic center building up his cardio so the cardio a swim is great for me too just because i can't swim very well <laughs> as long as you don't sink <laughs> it's, it's not pretty dude <laughs> Coming up on two minutes to go here in round number two, scheduled for five from Sacramento, California. Todd Harris along with Frank Mir, Jamie Varner, the reigning champion in the lightweight division after a one-year layoff. The interim champion is Ben Henderson by virtue of his victory over Donald Cerrone. Donald Cerrone, the cowboy waiting in the wings, possibly to get the winner of this fight. I like those roundhouses Ben Henderson's throwing. I think he's throwing a few more, though. Just catches that kick and throws Henderson to the canvas. I don't know that that little side kick looked like it also landed a little bit on the uh, the face of uh, Jamie Varner, but he pulled back enough not to really take any power from it, but it still touched. Him. Right now, I really think this round is up for grabs. I don't really think any guy. I mean, right now, it might. Well, yeah, you know, the hardest strike so far have been landed by Ben Henderson, mm -hmm. but Jamie Varner's been busier with his head and body movement coming forward. Anderson shoots on Varner, gets a single, and Varner quickly pivots out and takes it away. Big body shots coming from Janie Varner. He put a lot behind those body shots. He's in a great position right now with double underhooks against the cage. Right now, uh, one takedown can really edge the decision for the judges on who's going to win this round. Nice little Greco grip. Little head and arm toss from uh, Ben Henderson right now. Jamie's pushing off the chin, trying to get uh, leverage. Standing hammer fist coming from Jamie Varner. Ben Henderson working out of that clinch, trying to bring up those knees. I think Jamie's going to break out and try to go ahead and go for uh, a hand combination here. If you don't get the takedown, you need to finish the flurry. Final 30 seconds of round number two from Sacramento. Another real hard round to judge, honestly. I mean, it's work. maybe it looks a little bit different on TV than it does here live. But, uh, see, that's... Uh, some of the harder shots, like I said, those kicks seem to be the hardest shots I've seen landed so far this round that I can remember. But Jamie Vaughn was coming forward aggressive, and you know, you got to go ring control. And we'll see the third round when we return to Sacramento. Henderson just la actually landed better than what he even looked, and then uh, Jamie Varner was able to <laughs> retaliate with a little bit of a push slam there. Some nice versatility coming from Ben Henderson, able to throw different angles of attacks. There is the cowboy Donald Cerrone looking on. He was part of that no contest and the split decision victory that went to Jamie Varner, and he has said in no uncertain terms he wants the winner. He's in a great position because even if he doesn't get, you know, obviously if the winner is injured though, he could easily face uh, whoever out of these two guys. He has unfinished business with both of them. Fight of the year with Ben Henderson, Cerrone had, and then of course we know what happened with him and Jamie Varner, well documented. Talk about a grudge match to get those two back in the cage again. This is the third round of five with the WEC lightweight belt unification up for grabs. Jamie Varner is the defending champion after a one-year layoff, taking care of injuries. Ben Henderson continued to fight. He got the interim belt. Henderson in the black trunks, Jamie Varner in the white trunks, both fighters coming out of the great state of Arizona. 
Jeremy's doing a great job of closing the distance with his hands and getting uh, several times now, pushing Ben Henderson against the cage, having great position with double underhooks, but really not capitalizing him at that point, not really getting anything as far as a, uh, a takedown or a solid position or any kind of a, you know, flurry on the way out maybe even. I love the roundhouses to the body. I just want to see more of them. I think throwing a jab ahead of time and a jab afterwards would be nice. He needs to keep that outside foot, though. He's kind of drifting his right foot inside of Jamie's left foot, and then throwing the roundhouse at that point becomes dangerous because you're really lined up for the straight right hand. Fans here in Arco getting a little restless after the Uriah Faber Rafael Sunsal fight. Yeah, that's so explosive that's for three a hard rounds. To I don't like also Ben Henderson uh, back straight up though. You see a couple times now that uh, Jamie's able to throw a couple shots and Ben Henderson comes back straight, kind of erect too. I mean his chin's not up in the air, but at the same time it's not tucked either. I think he should just take one step back and fire that left hand. Big combination of flurries, they come together. Under two and a half to go. Varner shoots. Nice good yes. team for Ben Henderson. Like uh, Jamie Varner coming on after hand combination. We weren't actually was just shooting the shot. As you see here, Ben Henderson locks it up, arm in, guillotine. And really, I mean, Jamie didn't even try to slam him or anything. At this point, it must have been just viciously tight. Ben Henderson having extremely good submission skills. We talked about how the wrestling was kind of going to be even, giving the striking it slightly to Jamie. And then the submission edge definitely. Obviously, here we could say it was in Ben Henderson's uh, corner. What an excellent ability just to capitalize on a mistake there. That's just a truly dangerous uh, champion there. The fight was kind of really quite even. Honestly, I don't really see any guy at that point had really taken over the fight. You know, the, uh, and then right there, Jamie Varner makes one mistake with his chin, and uh, Ben Henderson quickly able to finish it off with a submission guillotine. Well, right now, let's go inside the cage. Joe Martinez has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Two minutes, 41 seconds of round number three. Winner by guillotine choke. And now the undisputed WEC lightweight champion of the world, Ben Smooth Henderson! Congratulations, Ben.